Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Avalanche AVAX. I haven't covered it for a while. In terms of the Elite Wave count, just want to show you um, a possibility here, what I think is possible for the um, for the further development of the Avalanche price. So in my view, if we zoom out here, I think we had a Wave 1 back here in April, uh, sorry, in February. Then we came down in a larger Wave 2 pretty much in July. We're now coming up in a Wave 3, which is typically the largest wave and now we're coming down in a wave four now that wave four could come down further yeah all the way down to this level at 62 dollars and then we could get into a wave five that is i think um a scenario that is very likely because avalanche has been very very strong in the recent bitcoin sell-off um so obviously if this is the scenario or this is the scenario if we assume that the wave one back here in february was at around 62 dollars the peak um then in that wave four move down we are not allowed to come below wave one if it happens then we're going to drop further so for me there are two scenarios basically one scenario would be that we come down one step lower and that would be here into this target area here between um, $62 and $78. I mean, we're pretty much already there, but that is still, that is the more bullish scenario. If we um, either stay where we are now at seven, pretty much not lower than, well, between $78 and 62, then in a next move up, we could really see um, nice price moves. And if we start from down there to there, I think I actually have it on the chart. Then in a next move up, we could actually go all the way to um, $231, dollars the one618 or the, so we, you've got various levels here. You've got the $1.272, $184, or um, the $1.618, $231. I would expect then, if we find support here at the $62 level, I would expect us in the next move up to move all the way up to $184. US dollars. That would be the, definitely the bullish scenario um to be honest looking at what bitcoin is doing i don't particularly see that happening i think we're going to drop further because it is avalanche is already at 86 dollars i think it's certainly with bitcoin potentially dropping below 30k i think it certainly can drop below the 0.5 fib level here at 78 and also below the 0.618 fib level at 62 dollars now if that happens it would invalidate this scenario yeah that would then not be um this scenario we wouldn't then have here a wave four we're already coming down quite a lot actually in that wave four normally the ideal um support level for the way wave, wave four would have been here at 94 dollars the 0.382 fib level at 94 they would have been ideal now we did drop below that that indicates or it basically unlocks further price decreases so my primary scenario would actually be that we are going to come um into and that would be sort of the the larger scale as well that we would come um here in a larger wave two or in a wave two actually into this target area then we would assume this was a wave one here um on a different scale and we're coming down in a wave two and then move up in a wave three that is the same scenario that many um cryptos are currently following that would indicate yeah we have come up in a wave one we're coming down quite far we could come down all the way down to the 0.887 fib level at 25 dollars yeah that sounds a bit low um i think 38 would be the more likely scenario between 38 and 62 dollars um if a bitcoin sell-off of, of around 50 percent takes place i think we can assume that avalanche will also sell off to these prices now if this is going to happen then also price targets for this wave here would sit in a wave three of at least 230 dollars so i would assume us to land at least at 230 in the next move up um oops 230 to 284 and then you will get your wave four correction then you move up in a wave five even higher i think that is the more likely scenario basically if you drop below 62 dollars it will unlock lower prices because that would invalidate that rather bullish scenario that i did show you before um, it would basically mean we are going to do move down further in this correction here a lot of cryptos in this current environment are already coming down to the 0.887 um, support level 8.887 fib level for example cardano um, 
but a $25 avalanche doesn't sound very realistic, but something between 39 and 62 in my view is quite realistic, especially as we really only have this FIP level left as support here, which is the $78 level, the 0.5 FIP level, and below that, this 144-day EMA at $68. I think if we lose them, certainly we are going to see the 62. I think we are going to, um, especially if Bitcoin is going to lose more value, which I think it will do. Um, also, if we take a look here on the weekly, um, and that basically confirms my view, if we take a look at the weekly um, MACD, we can see that we are, we ha it hasn't happened yet, but I think it's due a bearish crossover of the MACD. If that happens, I think then we can fall really, really low. I think that we're going to see quite a bit of a price drop that could drive us down all the way to $38, for example, the 0.786 FIP level. Um, this wouldn't be good, yeah. Last time we could, it was starting this bearish crossover, but we found support at this trend line. Now, unfortunately, this time we didn't find support at the trend line. So I think if you get that on a weekly, that will really smash the price down. Um, it's just what it is. On the daily though, we are recovering a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. But the weekly is just talking stronger, stronger language here. Um, so on the shorter term timeframes, basically we are going to see, we are seeing here already bullish crossovers, which is okay. Um, but the weekly still shows um, strong moves down. So unless we can really reclaim here this trend line, I mean, that would be a bullish sign. Yeah, if we can get above $87, then I think this first scenario where we probably don't, go lower anymore or maybe to the 62 and then that's it and we go up further that would become more likely especially if we yeah, if we can reclaim that support line i mean it has provided support really for a very long time um i think since september maybe even before that yeah i mean pretty much since july we had support on this ascending trend line um overall my tendency would be though that we are not going to um reclaim that yeah and even if we do that, we're going to see together with the Bitcoin um, sell off that I anticipate further price drops into this area between these two Fibonacci retracement levels. I think that would be a good area to get into Avalanche because after that, and that will probably happen next year. That's my view. You know, we, we're going to see this over the next couple of months play out in my view. And then we're going to turn around down there and see much higher prices in a wave three to the upside pretty much a similar pattern that many cryptos are currently doing. And um, that is my primary expectation. There is a small chance that Avalanche turns around here, but it would mean it, it runs against the entire crypto market. And um, I would expect that more for Cardano at the moment because Cardano is already so oversold and it's already at the 0.887 FIP level where um, Avalanche is still very far away from that. So that's pretty much my view currently here on Avalanche. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.